Jared Lemon. Oh, lemon, you're lemon today. Hmm. Lama. Lama. <laughs> Jared and Lindsay here in Kissimmee, and we decided to pop into Old Town. It's this thing that we've seen a lot when we're here, but we've never actually gone in. But uh, we happen to be staying pretty close, and we're hungry. It's a little bit late at night, so we thought we'd just walk on over and kind of check things out. I don't really know what to expect here, but uh, the thing that you can see from the road are these crazy little rides. I would ride them, but man, I am just so beat tonight. I don't think we're really gonna do anything other than walk around, get something to eat, and then kind of like show what they do have here if you want to do it. So I guess the first thing is I better find out how much it costs to do a ride. Yeah, so they have a Ferris wheel here too. So I looked at the sign, it's like five bucks per ride. Uh, some stuff's ten dollars, like they've got some go-karts. Or you can get like a sixty dollar all-day pass and I believe ride everything unlimited, but you get only one ride on the roller coaster. I guess there's a roller coaster. I'm gonna have to go find that. Check it out. Oh, look at this. This is right up your eyes alley, dear. Yeah. All kinds of like little shops and. Oh, well, there's some restaurants over there. Well, that's Jimmy John's, but I bet there's something interesting. Let's see if we can find something, some interesting food. Maybe even go into a shop or two. Yeah, they got a fountain. But behind the fountain, something caught my eye. It's a magnet store. That seems peculiar. <laughs> An entire store of magnets? Oh, I died already. You died already? <laughs> hey, look what we found. We got a stand up here. It's got a little, uh, little old Nintendo. Seems like this was an Atari game, but this is like the original Mario Brothers. Lindsay's given it a couple seconds ago. She died like two seconds in a touch of the controller. Look at that little guy though. Free five minute try, Lindsay, so he died again. Wow, you really made the most of it. I don't even have a haunted house in here. What is this place called? Uh, Mortem Manor. I'm gonna go over there and get the prices. So it's $15 for the haunted house or $5 for the burial simulator. Which you probably can't see it on the TV, but that's what that guy's doing. Or you can do both for $18. I love, love, love haunted houses. But I don't know. I'm so dang tired though, I don't know if I feel like doing this one tonight. Yeah, they even have Lindsay's favorite thing that we never do. And I'm not gonna do it tonight either. An old town portrait gallery. Although I gotta admit, this one looks a little bit better. Kind of peek in there. It's pretty big, this is just one half of it. Yeah, this one looks a little bit better than the usual ones we've seen. Oh, it's the security office. We can go to the security office. I may be on the way back out. What do we got here? I don't know if this is real. This is a fun spot. I don't know if this is considered part of Old Town. I mean, it must be, right? Because these, these have got to be all the rides that that uh, ticket booth listed. Hey, there you go. This place is a lot more involved than I initially thought it was going to be from what we saw from the road, right? There's your two-story go-karts. Let's find this roller coaster. Oh, well, we found the roller coaster. I want to watch this too for a second. It's called the Mind Blower. But it's kind of surprises me because look at this. Ooh. That looks a little bit more involved than like, you know, just a uh, rinky dink. Um, yeah, there's a lot here. Yeah, there's quite a bit here. I mean, you would think, I don't know, I was thinking Carnival Coaster or something. That's pretty. Pretty in depth. Yeah, that's a nice coaster. I don't know what's going on here. It'd be funny if like Oscar the Grouch popped out of that. Just a couple pair of severed legs in his trash can or something. <laughs> that's kind of kind of morbid. But look at this. Look at this old little truck here. Cool little diorama. But this I found particularly interesting. This place is a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. And I had no idea. If I had known it was like this, I'd have been here, you know, a couple of years ago. 
wouldn't have waited this long to show up to Old Town and walk around and have some fun, right? Look at dude, what is this, a magic hall? What is this? Experience many rooms of wonder in one house. Huh. Drawing room of deception. What in the world is this? Well, I don't know what the little magic place is, but I believe it's closed. And I believe those are the magic people going home. Well, I think we reached the end of Old Town. It kind of dies in a real sad way here. <laughs> Hey, we have a shooting alley that's got some like Cars Reject character in it. This looks like a Mater's broken down cousin or something. So we stopped at the downtown deli and bought a Euro each. Lindsay's never had a Euro. I can't believe you've never had one. You've been missing out. I love Euros. Uh, they don't, the pita helps. It's actually one thing that I can eat because of the pita bread instead of regular bread. That doesn't upset my stomach. I wanted to get a beer too, but they only had like domestic. Really like an IPA or a craft, real heavy, high alcohol beer. I don't really like domestic beer. Take a bite, what you think? She said there's cucumbers and garlic in the sauce. Oh yeah. It's really good. Yeah, the sauce is great. Oh, you had a bite, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's too big to fold. Yeah, so we're eating a fork. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. I don't know what kind of meat that too is. It's lamb. Too big to fold. Well, I had to eat a lot of the lamb down to be able to fold it, but this is really, really good. You got If you're ever here, I think you've got to get a Euro from uh, the Old Town Deli. I'll show you the... I think it's called the Downtown Deli. I'll show you the sign when I'm done eating, but this is really, really good. It looks good. Yeah. I'm enjoying mine. Yeah, I, I love gyros. I'm All a gyro fan All those flavors too. combined are delicious. I've never had lamb before. It's pretty good. Yeah, well, this is this is a lot better than most gyros I've even really? had. Yeah. Well, the lamb is really thick in this one. Oh my goodness! Oh no. Yeah, I had it's to really kick a lot really thick of my chunks, lamb out. which is good. Usually, it's usually the ones I've had are a lot thinner. Like the lamb's a lot thinner, they're not as generous with it. Yeah. These are really good, thick, juicy pieces. Yeah, they did. That was mostly meat. My euro was mostly lamb. Mm -hmm. There you go, the downtown deli, home of the classic euro. That's where we got it. And it was delicious. What you laughing about? Just remember to stop, drop, and roll. It's not going to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, they even got some live music playing here, very loudly. A lot of people just hanging around having some fun. Hey, Lindsay over there buying frozen alcoholic drinks from Auntie Anne's. See, I know Auntie Anne's is a pretzel only place. I don't know when they started serving alcohol. What did you get? Mango daiquiri? Yeah. See, I, I had you get me one too because, I don't know man, all the beer was just domestic. And I'm going to treat this like dessert. It's got tequila in it. You, you want to try it? Yes, I do. Well, is that everything you... Orangey. Or, well, mango is orangey. What are you doing? this past weekend and now this is really the end of the video thanks for watching again